Hi everyone, we're at ADAS 2024 in Manila, the Philippines. We're on the Anua Ocean booth right now. Uh, the center stage of the booth is uh, the, core, the submarine display as the South Korean shipbuilder is uh, proposing its uh, submarine designs to the Philippine Navy. To find out more with me today is uh, Scott Ko from Hanwha Ocean. Scott, great to see you again. How are you? See you again, Xavier. Uh, it's been two months since IDS, since I last saw you. Um, at ADAS 2024, Hanwha Ocean is displaying three different types of models. Uh, two submarines as well as one frigate. You might actually recognize the frigate from IODS 2024, uh, which is the Ocean 4300 frigate. Uh, to begin with, uh, we are displaying two types of submarines. The first submarine is the Ocean 1400 PN, uh, which is a variant form of the Indonesian export submarine that we have uh, exported to Indonesia. Um, it, is a, it is based on the 209 class. Um, it's a diesel electric submarine. Um, it's, uh, to give you a general idea of it, uh, the, ton the displacement of the Ocean 1400 PN is uh, 1400 tons, um, and the overall length of the ship, uh, the submarine, is uh, 61 meters. Um, like I said, it uses a diesel electric, uh, diesel electric propulsion system. And moving on to the weapon systems of uh, the ship, um, it has two types of weapons. Uh, it, uses, it has eight um, 533 millimeter uh, torpedo tube, carrying torpedoes as well as mines. Because of the uh, compact and modern design, uh, the submarine is capable of um, operating in versatile maritime environment. And also, because of its compact size, um, it is an economical uh, option for the Philippines Navy. Compared to the conventional 209 class, uh, we have taken out the, uh, the old-fashioned uh, CMS, sonar as well as radars, and weapons equipped with a much more newer technological CMS as well as radars and weapons. And moving on to uh, the KSS 3PN submarine, um, uh, this model of submarine is based on the KSS-3, Changbogo uh, 3 Batch 2 submarine, that's the ROC Navy currently operates. The only difference is that we have made a tweak. We have taken out the AIP and VLS uh, from the Changbogo uh, 3 Batch 2. Uh, the reason being is that uh, we wanted to make it more of an uh, economical choice for the Philippine Navy, reducing the operational cost. Um, by taking out the AIP and VLS, um, the Philippine Navy um, can uh, operate uh, the submarine in a much more efficient way um, economically as well. To give you a general brief idea of the, uh, the KSS 3PN submarine, um, its total uh, displacement is uh, 2,800 tons. Its total length is uh, 77 me uh, meters. Um, and it uses a lithium ion battery, a lithium ion battery, which is, uh, which is capable of lasting through 4,000 uh, life cycles, um, which is twice as much compared to the conventional lead acid battery. Because of its lithium ion battery, the KSS 3PN can last uh, underwater for six days, uh, which increases and um, expands the operational capability of the submarine. Once the battery runs out, it can resurface and recharge within seven hours, and then go back down to uh, go back down submerged and repeat that for six days, um, up to 50 days total um, in operation. Uh, moving on to the weapon system. Um, the KSS 3PN uh, is famously known for a quick weapon reloading system. It can simultaneously control four different types of weapons, um, a SLCM, a torpedo, as well as anti-surface ship, and lastly, mines. Um, it can carry up to 20 weapons, um, uh, uh, 20 weapons at the same time. Scott, what about uh, infrastructure? Because uh, the Philippine Navy is currently not operating uh, submarines, so you pretty much would have to create from scratch oh, yeah. a I'll submarine force. Uh, submarine so are you proposing anything for in terms of uh, you know infrastructure, dry docking, uh, maintenance for the submarine, training, and so on? Um, we are providing a total solution package for the Philippine Navy, considering that the Philippine Navy does not have an experience in operating submarines. This package includes a support package, uh, a training package, and uh, financing, as well as a submarine base. Scott, what about the, that uh, frigate model? Uh, I recognize it, as you mentioned, uh, we saw it at IODS in Perth back in July. So are you proposing it to the Philippine Navy? The reason why we're showcasing the Ocean 4300 uh, frigate is because not only that we wanted to show to the Philippine Navy that we are capable of building a high-end technology frigate, we all also wanted to show the world that we are capable of doing that. Um, we are planning on proposing it uh, as part of the uh, Horizon 3, um, if that is a possible uh, case for us. And just to give you a brief rundown of the frigate, 
Um, it is a variant form of the currently uh, operated uh, frigate, run, uh, operated by the ROC Navy. And it's a model version that's strengthened uh, its lethality capability from that original uh, frigates being operated by the ROC Navy. Um, it also has uh, modern CMS, uh, modern weapons, as well as uh, radars and uh, sonars attached to it are all state-of-the-art uh, technology as well. Yeah. Well, well, Scott, thank you very much. Thank you very much.